taking a live look outside on this Thursday morning. We got a good forecast for you as well. At least I'm hoping so by this gorgeous, beautiful view. You can see Sutro, Sutro off in the distance. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day, Jess. Yeah, Jess is going to get a good weather tattoo. Oh, oh, can you imagine? Yes. Yeah. We can. Maybe Guys, a crown. I, no, I'm so scared of needles. Like, I was 21 when I got my ears pierced. I'm not, no tattoos anytime soon. I do love weather, though, just not enough to put it on me. Anyways, so let's take a quick look at what's going on outside on a morning like this with clear conditions off into the East Bay and up in the North Bay. We're going to see a big change in the forecast as we gear up for this weekend. It's a long weekend ahead of us, too. Memorial Day right around the corner. We're going to cool down a lot as we head into our Saturday forecast. A chance of light drizzle along the coast matched with some cloudy skies noticed widespread throughout the Bay Area, but it's still mild for our daytime highs. I'm just going to fast forward just a little bit. I want to head over to Carnival as, sad, as we head into Saturday and Sunday in San Francisco. We're expecting low 60s, partly cloudy skies. A little bit warmer, though, the more north we go past the Golden Gate Bridge all the way up into Napa Friday, Saturday and Sunday looking nice and dry. That's the big thing. We're dealing with dry conditions as we head into the next six to 10 days. The Climate Prediction Center showing drier than normal conditions widespread throughout California, but here in the Bay, we haven't seen rain in gosh, 19 days. So that coastal drizzle might actually break that little streak. But for the rest of us, we are still expecting dry conditions this weekend, which is not bad. I mean, it's a three day weekend. Many people are coming in from out of town. If you're new to the city, if you're new to the Bay, welcome. We love, love, love this weather here in the Bay. We're expecting 80s and 70s off into the East Bay this afternoon, down into the Santa Clara Valley, upper 70s in the forecast near San Jose, low 70s, close to Los Gatos. Let's take a look at the next seven days. Like I mentioned, that low pressure system moves its way in from the north and notice what it does for us 80s to 70s to 60s within three days alone but luckily it starts to average out as we head into next week right back up into the upper 70s we'll see some low 80s by mid next week in our inland areas that's not the case if you live close to san francisco so don't get me fooled by any means we're expecting a little bit cooler conditions close to the peninsula across the bay bridge over in oakland we're expecting 60s all throughout saturday and sunday a warm up a little bit as we head into mid next week but still those partly cloudy skies are holding on tight to our coastal areas a lot more than our inland areas